Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel for service no hacks. Let's get started. In this video, the topic which I'm showing is the variables. Uh, you know, if the variable is not reflecting in catalog pass, but it is reflecting in your RITM, right? So we'll see how that works and what are the things we definitely need to check it out. So let me open the you know RITM for you. Now, if I open this RITM in uh, default view, so you can see this variable. All these are reflecting in RITM portal because RITM form because variable editor is added in this form, right? But so many people want that same things to be visible in the task also because mainly people are working on tasks not on the RATM, right? So in that case, they definitely need a you know variable to be reflected in the uh, task so that uh, you know we'll see how this can be workable. First, we'll go to form designer. And the first thing which you need to check is in the SC task default view whether variable editor is added or not. If the variable editor is not added, either you can create a section for this or you can also do the drag and drop i am just doing a drag and drop and you know just saving this so now the form is saved let me close this and if you reload the sc task form see the variables are still not reflecting but the same ritm1004 is having a variable right what might be the issue so many articles i have seen and they said that when you are creating a catalog task via workflow editor, you have to you know add the variable or editor there. Or if you are using flow designer, you have to check there. So suppose you have checked all those things, flow designer, create. If you are using create catalog task, then there will be no issue. Similarly for workflow activity also. Then also the variables are not reflecting. Then what might be the issue? The first thing what you have to do is go to this particular item apple iphone 13 i have just visited here and if you come here there are variables right if you open this variable there is one more option which is available in the form like global global is the option which is not here let me add that global also uh, global as a checkbox there is one more uh, you know option which is there for variables now I'm just adding that to the form. So now global is added. So now if you come back and reload this, there is a global option which has been enabled for each variable. So this is there. Suppose if you have not enabled global option for the variable, then it is limited only to that particular IIT, a maintain item form only. It will not further distribute it to any other form, not only as it has any other form, or you cannot view that uh, you know nowhere else apart from you know particular RITM or particular maintain item requested items, right? So what I'll do is I will just uh, go to list view of this. See, all globals are false now. I'll just select all and I'll make it to. So once I made this to true. If you come to SC task and if you reload, see the variable started reflecting to you. Even though you have added the variable editor in the form, if your variables are not global, then that will not further distribute it back to your variables also. So first, you can also check your flow designer thing, workflow editor thing, everything. Even in the form, if the variable editor is added, fine. Then also, if it is not coming, Check this also global as a you know field uh, field it has to be true then only it will show in the task form also if it is not there it will not limit so suppose if you want particular variable to be there in only the form not anywhere else there you can make a choice of false and it is based on maintain item to item it differs but if you want those variables to be visible all the time to all the tasks and ensure you are checking global as a you know true so that this will solve the problem so that's it for this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and subscribe. Thank you all.